Hi YouTube, just thought I'd do a quick update on my new black rat snake. We decided to call her Black Mamba and unfortunately she was infested with snake mites. Um, they were all over her. Um, I don't know if you've seen the unboxing video but she had her little tub set up, substrate, leaves to hide under, branches to climb, looked quite good. Um, We've had to strip it all down. Now I'm going to tell you how to get rid of snake mites quickly and effectively and cheaply. Within two days she will not have any mites on her. What you need to do is strip down the enclosure, leave them with the basics. One hide, one water bowl and a paper towel. Change that paper towel as regularly as you possibly can. Put it straight into a carrier bag not the carrier bag and get the carrier bag outside your home. You do not want to leave it in the kitchen bin or anywhere else because they will spread and find their way to the nearest reptile. I'm changing her paper towels five, six times a day. Um, so far so good. I'm not seeing much activity from the mites at all. Every time they lay eggs, the eggs are getting put in the bin, put outside. Uh, the mite cycle lasts about 16 days from egg to egg bearing mite. So you need to continue to do this method for at least three weeks. Um, after three weeks, you can stop changing the paper towels, but keep the Tatarian, Vivarium, Rub, whatever your snake's in, keep it to a minimum so that you can spot immediately if anything happens or if anything comes back. You can see there just in the creases underneath her chin all the mites have gone up to her head because they're drowning. The rest of the body is under the water so they're finding their way up to the snake's head because she won't put her head under the water. I tried soaking her by hand in the water but she's too fast. She's not been handled in the pet shop um, and she's not very tame so it was quite difficult. She freaked out quite a lot. This is the easiest method for me to soak her at the moment. I was putting her in this tub. Um, you have to take a zero tolerance approach to mites. They will quickly spread and quickly infect everything in your collection. You know, you don't have to worry too much about these mites bugging you or your family because they are species specific which means they will only feed off your reptiles they will only bite you know they will only bug your reptiles they might jump on you take a lift to your next reptile so bear that in mind handling any snake that's not infected I would keep to a very minimum you don't want to unknowingly spread this Wash your hands regularly. I'm hoovering the room that she's in regularly. Uh, changing everything regularly. Soak everything as much as you can. You know, if you've done it in the morning and you're planning to do it at night and you've got 10 15 minutes in the middle of the day, don't watch a YouTube video about how to get rid of mites. Go soak your snake again. Go and change the paper towels again. Don't give them the chance to reproduce, don't give them the chance to lay eggs, don't give them eggs a chance to hatch. You need to get rid of this as soon as possible. Thankfully I knew better and she was put into quarantine, which she was put into the top room of my home away from any other snake and at the moment the issue is isolated. I will be getting in touch with the shop that we got her from. I expect something some kind of something, you know, goodwill gesture, something for my trouble. This isn't an easy task, not an easy task at all. Very, very time consuming. And if you don't do it, it just gets a lot worse. They have just sent a mite infestation into my home um, and I'm not impressed. Uh, you can buy things from the shop, you know. I got this mite spray. This was ages ago I got that. Um, I've got this one too. They don't work. Most of the treatments sold in the UK and the pet shops, they do not work. They are just to get your money. 
So, you know, if you want to use them as a secondary measure, you know, go ahead, spray down the stuff. But the only guaranteed method for getting rid of these is hard work. Soaking, washing, changing, soaking, washing, changing. You just got to continuously do it, break the cycle, zero tolerance. Alright guys, I'll show you what I've done as an extra precautionary with my other snakes that are downstairs. A quick look at the tank. This is what it's like um, in between soaking and changing. I don't know if you noticed, but even the rock that's sitting on top and those two things just to balance it out were soaked also. Okay, so this is what the other tanks are like. None of these snakes have got mites, but I have done this as a precautionary measure so that if they do spread, I will know straight away if any of my other snakes have been infested. Now, the ball python has got a little bit more in the cage only because they are more finicky about eating. And if he doesn't have a few hides, he will stop eating altogether. So that is why he's got more, but all the leaves, all the decoration, all the climbs have been taken away. The boa, everything's been taken away. She's not looking very happy either, she's feeling a bit sorry for herself. And I don't blame her, but at least this way, if anything comes down here, I know straight away. Baby boa's cage. And the rainbow boa's set up. So, as you can see, all the substrate was taken away from all the other snakes downstairs as well. Now, all the other substrates were clean. You know, I spot check the tanks daily. So, and they were all at least three weeks away from needing changing, but it all got bagged up and binned anyway. So... Thank you, Pet Shop, for wasting about £20 worth of substrate for me. Um, she's out and about, and she's looking a lot happier. Poor little girl. I don't know how they let it get that bad, and I don't know how they thought I wouldn't know, or notice maybe they thought that I wouldn't come back. Maybe they've got something on their website saying that they take no responsibility for things like this I don't know but I'm gonna call them and I will post a video to let you know what they have said and what they're gonna do about it thanks for watching YouTube oh and remember to get rid of snake mites you need to strip everything down paper towels and change the paper towels and soak everything regularly as possible thanks for watching bye